Hi, I'm Amol Borker, Senior Product Marketing Manager for Vision and AI DSPs at Cadence 10 Silica. Previously, I talked to you about SLAM. I gave you an introduction to SLAM, talked about some of the applications, and walked through some of the building blocks that are required to implement SLAM. Today, I'll do a deeper dive. Let's walk over to uh, this side and take a look at some of the implementations. So, all these blocks that I previously described in my previous Whiteboard Wednesday, these are all classical computer vision based, but they're also computationally very heavy. They require a lot of linear algebra and matrix operations. All these blocks over here. Fortunately, modern technologies with CPUs and GPUs allow us to enable such type of computations very easily. Let's start first with the CPU. CPU is great for general purpose pro uh, prototyping, uh, and you can get some level of real-time performance on SLAM, but one of the problems with, G with CPUs is that it's not the most power efficient. Also, it is not, does not have the most number of uh, capabilities or modalities to do parallel processing. So you may not, in all the cases, be able to achieve real-time SLAM running on a CPU. An advancement over CPU would be a GPU. A GPU is a great device with a lot of modalities for parallel processing, allowing you, in many cases, to achieve real-time SLAM. But GPU as well is not very power efficient. It's usually very power hungry. So if you're looking for a solution for mass deployment to run SLAM, GPU may not be your best bet. This is where DSPs come in. So DSPs stand for digital signal processors. They are generally small area, low power, high performance devices, and usually purpose built to handle applications of heavy compute workload like SLAM and so forth. This is where our Vision Q7 DSP comes in. Our Vision Q7 DSP is the sixth generation of Vision and AI DSPs from Cadence 10 Silica family. It's our most powerful Vision and AI Vision DSP yet. It is built from the ground up, targeted to handle heavy computational loads of SLAM, SGBM, which stands for semi-global block-based matching, and similar applications. Uh, it has optimized instructions uh, for faster processing, uh, it has additional packages to enhance SLAM capabilities, as well as uh, improvements on vector floating point capabilities. Additional features of the Q7 include 512 8x8 Max, integrated DMA with multi-channel uh, capability for multiplexing, as well as um, uh, 3D data transfer. It can achieve a clock speed of about 1.5 gigahertz. And it's also designed for ISO 26262 ASLD. So if you're targeting vehicular or automotive applications, the Q7 is a great, is a great platform. Now that I've given you a high level about the Q7, let's talk a little bit about performance on SLAM. So we did an in-house implementation of SLAM. We took a look at the various building blocks that I've shown over here, as well as uh, the kernels that are used in implementing SLAM. We profiled uh, the kernels running on the Q7, as well as its predecessor, the Vision Q6. And what we saw in most cases, the Q7 was able to achieve over 2x performance gain over the Q6. This is primarily because of the optimized instructions, additional packages for SLAM, as well as improvements in the vector floating point capability that it comes with the Vision Q7 DSP. With all these additional benefits and improvements, Vision Q7 can give you a much higher refresh rate or frames per second for your camera pose. So if your application is going to very heavily rely on SLAM to get that accurate camera position as well as a high uh, camera uh, refresh rate, Vision Q7 is a great option. Now, what I've shown over here, these building blocks for SLAM are based on your traditional computer vision approaches. Recent advances have also shown that enhancing or including uh, deep learning techniques like convolution neural networks or CNN in the feature matching stage can improve uh, camera pose estimation from one frame to the next. Fortunately, the Vision Q7 also supports uh, AI. Our Tensilica neural network library has support for nearly all the layers that are popularly used by neural networks of today. As a result, you have a harmonious marriage between vision and AI all on one platform. So I've given you an overview of the performance benefits with the Vision Q7. Uh, the Vision Q7 will be available, general availability, Q2 of 2019. For more details about the Vision Q7, please visit us at ip.cadence.com. Thank you for watching Whiteboard Wednesday. Please check back next week for more updates. Thank you.